everyone, welcome back to another video. It is Francesco here. Welcome to the Keep Productive YouTube channel if you are brand new and if you're a regular, welcome back. So in today's video, we are going to be diving onto the Mac today to dive into a new note-taking experience. This is one that I mentioned in the three newest note-taker apps feature that I did last week. Um, it's called Agenda, it's available for Mac at the moment. It's quite an exciting new approach to note taking, so I'm really looking forward to diving into it with you today. So feel free to enjoy this feature. Let's jump over to the laptop. Just before we jump into Agenda, guys, do make sure to subscribe, hit the bell notification for regular features, and join the Facebook group as well. It'd be great to have you on all of those platforms, and I'll include all the links in the description below. So here we are with Agenda for Mac, and this is a brand new note taking experience. What it is tries to sort of blend together is a calendar and a note taking application. So what we're going to try and do today is dive into whether Agenda is suitable for you. It is a brand new resource. Um, a lot of the time you have to approach with caution, mainly because new resources tend to be brand new to the space. You always have to give them a bit of time, a bit of uh, comfort. And of course, uh, they will have a few more bugs than maybe the bigger teams like Evernote or OneNote might not be able to, um, and they might not be able to get to them. So as you can see here, this is Agenda. This is a Mac application. It is free. Something I'll uh, sort of go over with the pricing uh, at the end of the feature. I'm not on premium, so this is something that I'm premium on currently. So as you can see here, this is the layout. Um, what I was very impressed with when I first downloaded the application is a design. It is a gorgeous design. They've done such a great job. Um, I'm not sure whether you can see the iconography at the bottom here. The agenda logo looks fantastic. Um, and it's something that I actually featured in that top three of the newest note-taking apps. Now, the concept that is different about the likes of Evernote and OneNote to an extent, something I'll dive into a little later too, is that what, what, what agenda does is it tends to bring your notes into the play with dates. So as you can see here, see here uh, I've got a note called three different note takers. It's the, it's actually the um, script that I started writing for my feature the other day. Uh, and I'll include that one in the description below. You can see here that it's got sort of like a date here, last Tuesday. Now, if I go to this uh, sort of like calendar icon, I can actually change the date. So for example, I can select this one and press save. And what it will do is it will bring that one up tomorrow. So it's almost like a calendar plus notes timeline of all of your notes. So this can be very useful for meetings. It can be very useful for teams. It can be useful in a lot of different scenarios, especially with those people that want either reminders or some sort of calendar notification to alert them on a specific note they need to use. So you can't specifically go into um, a time. Uh, so for example, if I wanted to save it as today at 3 p.m., you can't do that, but you can save it quite healthily as a today item or tomorrow, whatever date you wish. Now what you can do is you can use this button here. So this button here adds it to something called on the agenda. Now on the agenda, if I remove it, we'll actually take it away from this section. Now let me just be a little bit clearer on this one. So as you can see, if I go to today, because I set that note as today, it will go into this section. If I set it for tomorrow, for example, let's just set it for tomorrow, then it will go away from this section and it will become part of the project and it will pop up in here where it's relevant for the day. However, if I went back to it and added it onto the agenda and I went over to the agenda on the agenda section, I would see it pop up at the top. And basically what happens here is today is almost like all of your today set items and you can actually create new notes from here. And on the agenda is essentially your overview or your sort of timeline of most important things. It's almost like pinned notes, if that makes all the sense. <laughs> so I've got all of these other ones on the agenda. And if I remove them, they go back into the projects they were in. And if they were previously, you know, for example, like uh, that one was 27th of January, I would be able to find it. 
So as you can see, I found it using the search area. Uh, you can search a date or a specific thing inside there, or even within the on side on the agenda item. So it's actually very useful in terms of being able to search stuff. So just to be clear, on the agenda is almost like a your pinned area, your pinned notes for later. Today is for actually notes that have been assigned for today. And search will allow you to find specific dates or note items and it's very useful. Now you're probably wondering what's this on the left? I've I kept a few sample projects in from their their sort of setup experience. But what you can do is you can jump in and create projects. Now projects are a great way just by creating a project down here you can create a category as well to organize that. So that could be work family oriented but this could be a project association. So for example um, if I wanted to create an other project uh, so it could be uh, gaming, I don't know. And I can start creating notes within that project. So they're almost notebooks, essentially. Categories are almost tags to an extent, but it helps you to organize all your items. So there's some sample projects up here, and you can see the use here. This is like an on ongoing um, item for High Tea Inc. Um, and as you can see here, the one thing that stands out is the rich text abilities. You can see here that it's actually quite gorgeous to make a note here. Um, what you can do is you can tag people in. Um, you can bring them into the conversation. Uh, I think that's related. I'm not sure how entirely that works, but I'll probably include it in a team um, segment that I'll do. Um, but it, it seems to be quite easy to attach contacts um, and send them on. Uh, so if you're using this as a team, you can communicate that way. I'll probably include more information in the description below about this. Now, as you can see, it's actually quite nice. It's almost like bare in terms of its uh, design. Uh, you can utilize quite a lot of uh, rich formatting functions uh, to type up a beautiful note. Uh, so it makes it really useful. You've got the checklist abilities as well. Uh, you can even utilize the, the different uh, formatting options. You can add tags as well. So that doesn't necessarily have to be, so there we go, you can add a tag there. And this is how you assign people, sorry. Uh, you can assign certain people to certain items that are directly inside your piece. I'm not too sure how you get them yet, so I'll probably include all of that in the description below. You can add bullets, checklists as well, so if I wanted to turn that into a checklist, I could, and I can even tick it off just like I did there. So it's quite an easy process, I guess. Uh, I think you get used to it. You can add links and all of that lovely stuff there. Not too sure whether you can add images yet. I haven't seen uh, a use on images. You can use emojis pretty well. But apart from that, um, there's no images that I've seen so far. You can use coding as well. So if you're a coder or someone that wants to store notes, that's very good there. Now, the one thing you can do with your notes when you've completed them is you can move them to different sections. You can move them to different uh, items. Uh, you can, uh, there is a mention that you can format that note into a PDF and things like that. So it does become useful, uh, but I believe that is a premium feature. Now, the one thing else you can do is move the note about a project folder, which I didn't know you could do. Um, <laughs> so you can move it about if you wish so, um, and that could be a helpful way to do that. Now, in the premium, you've got... Um, a host of options, something I want to mention near the end. But you're probably asking yourself, how does this differ from the likes of reminders inside of Evernote? And you're 100% right. Um, it does look very similar to it. But what it does differently is help you to correlate them directly to a calendar. Uh, and I think it just makes it look and feel a lot easier. It's very associated to that. It's part of the core experience versus an additional function. The reminders area is simply just an area in Evernote where you can pin or correlate a note with time. That's the benefit that you have with Evernote if you've ever got all of your notes in there and you want to set up a meeting agenda in there. But this, I would say, is more focused towards if you and your team want to create your own uh, notes and correlate them to calendar events. Um, and I guess that's probably the differentiation. So what I would recommend Evernote for notes, for reminders is, is more for someone who wants a specific timing and they want a specific note to pop up at that time. Whereas this is more of a, um, you know, you can actually create calendar events and also 
uh, make really gorgeous looking notes. I think the note taking text editing experience is slightly better than uh, Evernote in an extent. Uh, it's got a few less features like files and audio and etc. But I just think in terms of like a distraction free experience, this is much nicer. So as I was mentioning, it is free forever apparently. That's what the team have clarified. But you get premium features unlocked if you price uh, with the price of 90, 1999 do uh, not dollars uh, euros and that's 30% off at the moment um, so they've got four core premium features and you'll get the latest ones as they come out over the next 12 months so you've got create calendar events um, that's the ability to actually attach it to a calendar uh, for your calendar app and sync them to all of your devices um, save searches so you can save the searches in the bar uh, when you're searching for stuff that can be useful for later. Copy and export markdown, so you can actually mark down format stuff, and hide the watermark for printing in PDFs. So that's actually pretty helpful. And that is priced at $19.99 euros. Um, and you can see up here, um, you can uh, import as well any agenda file or markdown file, or even any from your Apple Notes, and export to PDF as well. Um, so if I go and save, on, so if I click into this one, uh, it should have, there we go, made with agenda, get it free. So it's going to be a watermark on that one, just so you're aware. Let me just pop that one in the bin. Um, and it's going to be, you know, fixed. Um, but what I would say is agenda is a really gorgeous note-taking experience. If you're someone that likes to plan using a timeline. That's how it differentiates from Evernote Reminders. Evernote Reminders is more of a add-on experience, whereas this completely orientates all of its items around a timeline. A timeline of events, you could have all of your upcoming activities. You could pin notes with a certain note uh, date next to it. Um, so I really recommend this for people who are looking to create an agenda or meeting notes, um, or they just want to organize all their activities based on calendar time. This could also make a great uh, journal application. Um, I think it looks great as a journal application, but for the moment, I think it's a nice introduction to the note-taking space. It's a gorgeously built application with, I think, a lot of potential. So guys, I hope that you enjoyed today's agenda feature. I hope it gave you some good value. I hope it gave you some good advice. Let me know in the comments what you think of agenda. It'd be great to hear. But for now, make sure to have a great week. Keep productive, and I'll see you guys very, very soon. Cheers. Cheers.